Hello, this is a quick demo to show you how to deploy Red Hat OpenShift on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. In the upcoming months, you will be able to deploy self-managed OpenShift on OCI and get support from both Red Hat and Oracle. So the first step is to install an OpenShift cluster. We need to add the cluster name, which is OCI demo for us. We also need to add the base domain name. OpenShift support on OCI is available on preview from version 414 onwards. So that is what we're going to go ahead and select here. We will also need to enable external partner integrations because we will be deploying OpenShift on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So we need to integrate with other platforms. Hello, this is a quick demo to show you how to deploy. We are not installing any additional OLM operators for this demo, so we're just going to skip this step. Here we need to add hosts and define the roles each node will play. So assisted installer will generate a minimal ISO that we can use to boot all the nodes that will be a part of the cluster that we are going to create. So we are the assisted installer UI. We will now be able to assign the desired roles for these nodes. The three master nodes that we can see here will be our control plane nodes and the rest will be used as compute nodes. And we can go ahead and check the status and they should be ready to be deployed at this point. Now we come to networking and for networking, we're just going to go ahead and use the default networking plugin, which is open virtual networking or OVN. For custom manifests, as we have chosen external partner integration in the first step, Assisted Installer now gives us the ability to inject any required custom manifests provided by the partner to integrate additional provider-specific components with OpenShift. In this case, we're going ahead and adding uh, Oracle's provided manifests to enable their CCM or Cloud Controller Manager and their CSI, uh, which is the container storage operator and driver. So OpenShift can leverage both components for Oracle infrastructure awareness and persistent storage for the workloads running on OpenShift. Finally, we've added all of the information, we can review it, and now it's time to go ahead and create and install our cluster. And we get a look here at the installation process. And we can see that it's all green. So we're ready to go. The OpenShift cluster has successfully been deployed on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. And now we can go to the console and look at our cluster and start creating resources. Once the cluster is deployed, the first thing to check is the infrastructure manifest. Uh, we want to validate that we are using the platform external as we had selected via the assisted installer. And specifically, we also want to check that the platform is reflected at o as OCI, which is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Then we explore the OCI Cloud Controller Manager namespace in OpenShift. This is the namespace where all the OCI-specific manifests are deployed to integrate with OCI CCM, which is Cloud Controller Manager. And we should be able to see that there will be a CCM pod per control plane node running in the cluster.
The next thing we want to check is the node manifest itself. We want to validate that CCM has added additional labels to the node to represent the OCI specifics for that particular node. That's one of the advantages of CCM to make the nodes in OpenShift aware of the infrastructure platform where it's running. Then we do something similar for the OCI CSI namespace. And this namespace will contain all of the objects related to Oracle's CSI operator and drivers that will give OpenShift the ability to automatically claim storage objects from the OCI platform to be used to persist the workload storage. And this can be seen on the persistent volumes and persistent volume claims that are automatically created and are now available in OpenShift. Finally, the OCI samples namespace is used to validate a sample application deployment in OpenShift that is consuming the persistent storage coming from Oracle Cloud infrastructure via their CSI. And that's it. That's our demo of OpenShift on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Thank you so much.